This video is brought to you by the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. Go to patreon.com slash discgolfnerd. What's up everybody? Welcome to my review of the Dynamic Discs Paratrooper Bag. This guy over here on the right, I also have the original Trooper, my original one that I still use uh, over here on the left, just to give you a little bit of a, just a quick representation of the differences uh, while I kind of ramble a little bit to uh, set up this video. So I already did a full video showing off the Paratrooper bag as configured from the, from the way it ships. Set up with plastic, I show you all the different pockets and the way it's designed. I give you all of my initial impressions based on all that kind of stuff. So if that's the kind of information you're looking for, stay tuned to the end of this video or just search Disc Golf Nerd Paratrooper and look for that other video and you can see more of a uh, kind of overview of the features of this bag. But if you wanna know my experience with this bag and some of the things that I like about it, some of the things I would change, um, that's kind of what we're gonna do in this video. I thought it'd be kind of fun to just yeah, more go over just my experience with it and talk about some of the kind of modifications I would make if I had anything to do with kind of redeveloping this bag. Before we go any further, for, for the money spent on either of these bags, I, I think they're awesome. And they're definitely versatile in the fact that you can kind of modify them a little bit in a couple of different ways if you wanted to. I have a similar modification on uh, both of these bags that I'll, I'll show you a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that. But as they come from the factory, just out of the box, set them up and use them. They're great for the money for sure. But you can do a couple of different things, especially with the paratrooper, that you can kind of customize it a little bit um, to suit your needs. So let's get the regular trooper out of the way here in just a second and focus on the main bag but you'll see that the regular original trooper bag has a one smaller storage pocket on this side it's got a zipper pocket on the side as well and just the one single water bottle holder you can see it's a little bit thinner overall it's a bit, little bit shorter overall over uh, although not not by a whole lot similar height to these bags um, but it doesn't have anything on the bottom of the bag the paratrooper has plastic feet has this pocket added on it's got a pocket in the uh, kind of front flap here it's got more storage it's got dual water bottle holders so just to, as a quick side-by-side -side comparison the paratrooper is just a little bit bigger and has a lot more storage so if that's what you're looking for it's a it's a great option for that but the original trooper if you only want to carry one water bottle if you only have a few discs that you need to to worry about you can still carry a pretty substantial loadout in that bag but not quite as much as the paratrooper um, but if you're looking for more of a kind of a lighter uh, grab it and go kind of backpack bag for the woods and stuff i love the trooper and it's still really great um, the paratrooper is definitely more of a larger kind of more tournament style bag of course big thank you to dynamic discs for being gracious enough to send me both of these bags to test and review i appreciate their support very much and all the uh, great plastic and stuff they sent me over the years of course i continue to work with them here in 2021 and i'm excited about it so go check them out at dynamicdiscs.com all right let's take a closer look at the paratrooper Okay, so first of all, I have a pretty randomized loadout in here. I pretty much just stuffed some, some discs in it so you can see what it looks like with plastic in there. You can see that the discs are uh, pretty deep in there. There's quite a bit of fabric um, right here. That's one thing I would I would definitely look into potentially changing if I were to, to redevelop this bag would be to just cut this a little bit deeper. I just think that would increase the ability to get the discs in and out without this happening, which is pretty common on a lot of bags and really isn't that big of a deal, but it's not my favorite for sure. And if this thing was just cut down another inch or so, I feel like it would make it that much easier to get the discs in and out. With this bag, you kind of have to do that angled entry, you know, uh, to, to get it in there a little bit. So plenty of discs in the main compartment. We got four putters up top as well. I love this big old pocket up top here. It's excellent and it's quite deep. One thing I did do with this bag, similar to the regular uh, Trooper, is I cut a small incision right here and I put in a piece of a wooden ruler across the front of here, cut to size. So it runs from right here to right here. That reinforces this pocket. I think it really helps. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I would love to see DD just reinforce that. That's something I did on my uh, original trooper as well across the front here i have a, a steel rod in there 
to uh, support that putter pocket. I think that would be a really great upgrade for this bag design going forward is just to put something in there even like this is again it's a piece of a like a dollar store wooden ruler that works fantastic just cut down a little bit and then i sewed this back up so there's that i found that this pocket up here i only really like using for small items because of how much it interacts with the discs that are in this putter pocket that goes quite deep again so i hadn't really put anything in there other than like a mini or maybe uh i think i had like handkerchiefs up there that sort of thing i wouldn't put discs in there because i'd rather just have as much space as possible for this top pocket times out uh during rounds testing this thing that i had like you know a whole bunch of discs stuffed in this top pocket because those are the ones i was using and it's just easier to put them in there than to put them in the main compartment sometimes so um, that's definitely something that happens with me on all my bags that have these top pockets i'll end up jamming a bunch of discs in there so yeah i didn't really use this for much uh, speaking of this top pocket friend of the channel doth savik he reviewed this bag as well we did correspond a little bit um via direct message about the bag just in general chatting and stuff but i have not watched his review yet um, but he actually told me that he rolled up this pocket um, and like pinched it off with a safety pin or something to keep it from being quite as deep and that helped with the uh, velcro on the inside here where the bottom of that putter pocket attaches to the back wall of the bag if you have heavy stuff in here it'll kind of rip that off of the back wall and the putter pocket will kind of droop all the way down i kind of like it there's two different pieces of velcro on the inside here and i'm not even going to try to show you guys this because it's going to be too hard to see but if you look at the back of that down here where the interior velcro is in there there's two different pieces of velcro one that attaches the inside of this putter pocket to the back of the bag and then one that's supposed to meet with this piece of velcro here to hold that flap in place i find the bag works better if i'm using the secondary piece of velcro that's supposed to meet with this to hold the putter pocket shallower like that so these putters don't ride in as deep they don't interact with this plastic as much i just think the whole bag runs better that way and i would ultimately prefer to just have the the putter pocket be shallower and kind of designed in that manner where if you use that you can see on this angle it keeps that putter pocket up higher and kind of doesn't have as much interference with the main bag the flap kind of just tucks in fine like that without the velcro but honestly i feel like probably the best way to run this bag um in my opinion is just to leave this loose and open like this and just lift it up when you want to grab your discs out there's a little bit less uh kind of interference that way this will you know if it starts drizzling or whatever your main part uh, compartments already covered if you wanted to use this front pocket for any reason this is basically the only way you're going to want to do it in my opinion like if, if this thing's tucked in here and you put a disc in there now every disc you try to pull out is hitting that disc i i would never do that that's that's me personally some people might rock it that way and you're more comfortable jamming stuff in and out uh i'm not i'm not so into that i also don't think i would ever really put a disc down here for the same reason because now i'm running into it again uh, as much open access to the main compartment as possible is my kind of uh philosophy when it comes to bags for sure and again i, I would definitely like to see this come down uh, another just another inch would make it a little bit easier to get those discs in and out and they would still be plenty of uh, material down here to prevent them from falling out accidentally which is not really a problem i've ever really run into with most bags so quick rundown of the side pockets again even though it's in that overview video i directed to you guys earlier you can fit discs over here for sure um, but they're a tiny bit snug like this pocket was just a, a tiny bit bigger um, the discs would fit just that much better, but they actually kind of like pop in in a kind of a pleasing way that I like. You can fit two or three on the side there. I probably wouldn't want to do more than that. And depending on the size water bottle you have too, there could be some interference there because it's just a soft panel in between the water bottle here and that and that pocket. So hopefully you guys are seeing this. It's always tough to film uh, bags and stuff. <laughs> it's always tough to get them all in frame. The zippers are not my favorite. They're a little grabby for sure. As you can see, they're, they're really not very smooth um, for whatever reason. I don't know if they're just so glossy and they kind of stand out. Um, they almost look like super bright silver 
something about them the, the way they're polished or something or, or the way this maybe the way this pipe is, is sewn in here they kind of grab and it's not a deal breaker for sure especially since when i'm out using this bag i'm basically not interacting with the zippers hardly at all i leave this open i leave this open maybe i'll open this one to grab my hanky out real quick but it's really not that big of a deal you know to have a little bit of a stiff zipper but definitely not the smoothest i've ever felt Onto the, the drink holders, um, riding this thing on the Dynamic Discs Easy Cart, these drink holders tend to sag down and they do kind of hit the wheels. So you probably want to use either fenders um, or maybe raise the bag up just, just a hair. But I think if they were to take this entire side pocket assembly here and just move it up the bag, and again, an inch, I think that would help the clearance for that. Um, one quick mod that I did do is I put a little stopper run of paracord right here that prevents this from opening um, itself because when I was carrying the bag with these tall 40 ounce water bottles in here they would kind of rattle like this and end up loosening that up and they kind of sag down on the side of the bags um, way less of an issue with a standard Nalgene that just sits completely down in there I don't think you'd even have to think about that um, but it's a super simple thing to just put that little run of uh, Cobra stitch paracord there and just cinch the bag up and, and you're ready to go. So, or the cinch that, that pocket up and, and you're good to go. So no problem there. I really didn't use any of this um, webbing for any for anything during my testing and use of this bag. I do really like that there is a uh, mesh interior pocket in here, helps secure your valuables. And then, yeah, this pocket's quite substantial. So you could stuff, uh, probably smaller folks could probably stuff a shirt. I could probably stuff a shirt in there, not not a jacket for me, because I'm a big guy and my clothes are just big. <laughs> but if you're a smaller person, you have like a really lightweight jacket, you could probably stuff it in there without too much issue. Moving on to the back of the bag. I think probably my favorite thing about this bag is, is the straps. They're really, really nice. And overall, very comfortable bag, I thought. Very carryable, very easy to, to, uh, to, to have on the course with you. So I really like that. This is not my favorite. I wish there was a, a dedicated grab handle, but it works totally fine. But the way these straps are kind of angled, um, you have the pad here. It's very smooth. There's like a, a sloped angle there coming out to this, right? And then this is on the outside. So when you get it on there, this is kind of riding away from you rather than digging in. I hope you understand what I'm saying there, right? So if you look at it from this angle again, that slant there just makes it very comfortable with these on your back. That angle is really nice where it doesn't want to dig in to your uh, to your shoulders or to your arms or anything. Very, very comfortable straps on this bag. No problems there. The, uh, the back of the bag has some padding. Everything fun in terms of that. There's some plastic rails, nylon rails on the bottom. I'm not going to show you. I showed in the other video. They're fine. Could take them or leave them. I don't think they really add that much to the bag, but a lot of people really want to have them. So that's fine. They're there. They don't bother me at all. Maybe I'll show you real quick. Just really standard uh, nylon rails there to protect the bottom of the bag. Okay, so now we're getting to what I think is a very important kind of foundational part of the review of this of this particular bag is the plastic panels that go on the inside of this bag. You have one for the back, and then you have two ones uh, for the side. Two identical ones for the side and you have one that goes in here and then you have um, the one that's on the bottom that that those rails are attached to that you don't have to mess with that comes from the factory and it's always there um, I did set this bag up again with all the panels I got them in there it's not super easy to do I got them in there that was how I used it for the first couple rounds and then after that I just kind of got curious as to see how this thing would function without them they're very stiff the, the the bag is very boxy and rigid with those in there extremely so and i almost wondered um early on is if it was kind of a little bit of an overcompensation for trying to get away from the the regular trooper that has none of that really it just has like foam and stuff in, in the sides there's no like plastic panels anywhere and maybe they wanted to really uh kind of make sure this thing had a really firm and rigid feel but ultimately, I just felt like it wasn't beneficial and really wasn't necessary. With all the, the piping and stuff and the stitching and the heavy duty fabric and the way this thing's built, it really doesn't seem to function any differently, um, definitely not in any negative way without those in there. In fact, I personally feel like it's a much better bag 
just like this as you're seeing it now there's no panels in here whatsoever now there's a zipper here where one of them would go into the side there's another one here incidentally these interior zippers are actually um, a little bit smoother easier that, to use than these outer ones for whatever reason even though you're really just supposed to get those panels in there zip them in and then just kind of forget about them again you have one right here too so there's one and there's a little piece of foam in here that I did leave in there of course um, but here's the thing these panels as I'll show them to you real quick since I have them over here I held on to them just in case uh, I wanted to show them off in this video which I do and I also weighed them and I believe they were around 700 grams which is pretty substantial so here they are here's the little guy for the front is right in there of course and then you have these kind of shark wing looking ones for either side there and here is the one for the back so you can see these are quite firm quite stout and heavy um and again the bag almost 700 grams lighter without those in there and as configured here this thing is extremely light i mean that's with two empty bottles in it but no plastic and stuff the bag's super light of course once you get two bottles full of water and plastic and everything it's gonna weigh uh, a decent amount but as as configured here i'm not sure i should probably weigh it I'll, i will i'll weigh it completely you know without the bottles and everything and i'll put that information on the screen here extremely light feeling bag to me it feels very very light without those panels in there and the back ends up being softer so it kind of has some give to it it's funny is it ends up kind of looking and, and feeling quite a bit like a really inexpensive version of a pound bag where it has that soft feel there's no like really stiff firm stuff in here other than the putter pocket mod that i did to support that there's nothing else in this bag so it makes it really light and just super comfortable to carry and i, I love it i think it's really nice plus you have that built-in bottom of the bag with those uh, rails there so there's no like sagging issues you know if you watch like the practice rounds with germs bag hanging on his cart that pound bag the, the discs sag way down and i always thought it looks so crazy for such an expensive bag to have that huge saggy bottom like that so i like that this thing has that nice firm bottom and uh other than that it's very soft and comfortable and really feels great on the back it's extremely light and uh i love it as is but of course, that's why I don't consider this to be a downside at all. Basically, it's kind of a benefit in a way because it's a very versatile setup. You can put just the side panels in if you want. If you just want to structure this, you can. If you just want to have the back panel in, you can do that if you wanted to. Or you can run it completely soft like I have here or run it with everything and have it extremely firm, solid, kind of heavy feeling bag, heavy duty feeling bag. But then what's awesome too is that like you have these interior pockets where those panels are supposed to go. So when I was running this bag, I had extra stock stuffed in there. You could put towels in there. I would also leave like extra scorecards or like a rule book or something in there that you might not get to very often. And you have like all of these interior stash pockets. You can even put some down here if you wanted to, of like extra storage basically. So it's win-win for me in terms of running this bag without the panels in there. So um, just to wrap it up, I love the bag overall. For the money you're gonna spend on it, the bag's fantastic. I mean, you're really going to be fine. Like any golfer can put as much discs and gear into this bag as you need for a round. Like anybody, you know, there's plenty of room. You can put discs over here you can stuff them in here. You can fill this main compartment. Like there's plenty of room for plastic. So that's not a concern really. Plenty of room for storage for your valuables, extra towels, etc. So for the money you're going to spend on this thing, it's a great bag that I think the average player would be more than more than stoked with and it would do everything you need to do without without any trouble. Um, between the two, you know, if I had to say one or the other forever between this and the regular Trooper, I have a soft spot for this old school uh, OGO made green Trooper that I showed you earlier, but this paratrooper is super rad. So if you can spring a little bit of extra money, I think you're going to like having two water bottle holders. That's just one big thing. I think you're really going to like having that ability out there in the summer or anytime it's important to stay hydrated. Having dual water bottle holders is huge. Any bag that has one, um, you're always going to compromise that a little bit. Now, of course, you can make that totally fine and make that work. I've carried the Trooper a million times and you put, you know, put a 40 ounce bottle in that, in that pocket 
it's really not that big of a deal. It's, it's plenty of water, but it is very nice to have the ability to have two, especially for tournaments, especially for summer or, you know, human climates, any of that stuff, 100%. It, you're going to like having the extra storage for sure. So if you can spring the extra money between the two, I would probably go for the paratrooper if you're only going to get one. If you want a lighter, more streamlined bag, you carry less plastic already and you don't want a ton of extra stuff with you. You just need some place to like throw your wallet and your keys, a couple of snacks, uh, throw a, an extra towel in there, a water bottle. The regular trooper is fantastic and still one of my favorite bags on the market as well. I think that's it guys. I think we finally got there and covered all the different aspects of this bag. If I did somehow didn't answer a question you have about this thing going forward, just leave me a comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the continued support. Thank you once again to Dynamic Discs for hooking me up with this bag, the Trooper bag, and just countless awesome discs over the years. Go to dynamicdiscs.com, check out the website, and uh, check out these paratrooper bags for yourself. I think you're really gonna dig them. And for the money, I don't think you can go wrong at all. Or check out the huge selection of other plastic and bags and carts and all the great gear that they have available over there. So thanks to them, thanks to you guys, thanks to the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. You're all awesome. Thanks for uh, sitting through this video. If you're still here, Boom, there's the overview for the paratrooper if you just want to see all of the different um, aspects of this thing in terms of just a, a full rundown of the features and close-ups of the zippers and all that kind of stuff, you'll find that there. And I'll throw something else fun for you to watch over on the other side of the screen. Thanks for watching. I'll check you later. Cheers.